Hey guys, welcome to Unit 2. Um, each week we're going to give you a little screencast video just to give you an overview of what this week is going to look like. Um, from my perspective, it's going to look a little bit different because I'm going to go from the resources and yours is going to be through the learning pathway. But I just want to kind of break down of what all your assignments are going to do. So um, Unit 2 is a two-week um, unit. And it is broken down into two parts. So you can see over here on the left side in the tree that part one is um, August 16th through August 22nd. And part two is August 23rd through August 29th. Um, so part one and part two of unit two. Um, first thing I want to show you, so unit two is going to be on goal setting. This is kind of your overview page. And you can access this through your planner um, when you first open it. Here is the checklist. Um, I'm always giving you an option to make a copy of the checklist. This is not something you have to turn in, but it just allows you to see due dates and what all is due in Unit 2. So as you can see here, um, Part 1, which is again August 16th to the 22nd, it runs, um, the due dates are all August 22nd except for the initial discussion post. And again, we want to make that initial post so that we can drive a really good conversation. So in part one, you're going to have the two discussion posts, so the initial post and then the three replies or responses to your classmates. You're going to have the weekly reading, which is two articles. You're going to have slotted notes quiz with reading, so it's from the task two. You're going to have that quiz. Remember, on that quiz, you can retake it as many times as possible to get your desired grade. And then you're going to have a goal setting Nearpod. So that's all for part one. So all of this is due by the 22nd. And again, the initial post is due on the 19th. Then for part two, you're going to have um, four more tasks. Um, it's going to start with a weekly video, how to achieve your most ambitious goals. And then in task six, you're going to have a, a quiz on that video. And then you're going to have a SMART goals PowerPoint that you're going to look through. And then you're going to have a SMART goals assignment. I'm going to click back to um, its learning. So as we look through here, here's your discussion post. Um, in this discussion, you'll be looking at the potential barriers that you, you have or you could face in regards to your health. How will you work to overcome them? Remember, health includes physical, emotional, social, and mental. Your post needs to be four to six sentences. Um, so that's your initial post. Um, and then you'll have three replies to classmates. This is what it will look like in the learning pathway. Um, you'll just access these two articles and read it. Task three is going to be a quiz on those. Again, take it as many times as needed to get your desired grade. And then here's your Nearpod. So you would just click here to get that Nearpod, and it's automatically sent. Um, it sends all the information to me. So that is everything that is due for the first part. Part two, which starts on the 23rd, you're going to watch this video then you're going to take a quiz on the video this one you can only take one time so just make sure you do it um, correctly and for both of the or take your time on it for both the slotted notes quiz and this video quiz um, I would definitely recommend having the article or the video up at the same time so you can refer to it because there's not a time limit on the quizzes then you're going to have your SMART goals PowerPoint. You can make it full screen by clicking here and look through it. It's a really short PowerPoint. It's only seven pages long. And then your assignment is going to be through here. It's on that PowerPoint, so it's embedded in there again. And then you're just going to click on this link. You're going to make a copy. And then you're going to fill out this worksheet. So now it's a new copy. I would recommend putting your name here. And then um, you're going to go through. So your goal statement and make sure that it meets all of these requirements. We've already gone through that several times. Why is this goal important to you? What is needed to accomplish this goal? And then an action plan. So these are all the things that you will need to do to accomplish the goal. Each one of those needs to be filled in. Um, and you can always refer to the rubric. And you can see what need is needed to get 100. Please, if you have any questions, make sure you contact your teacher. I hope everyone had a great week one and looking forward to unit two.